Dear students, let's begin our next exercise that is rhyming words. So we have here five words given. So these five words you should write by, uh, by adding some rhyming words to these words. So let me tell you what are rhyming words. Rhyming words are those words which have similar or exact ending sounds. Okay? Similar or exactly the same ending sounds as the given word. Now, here we have, for example, we have here D double O R DO. So, how many rhyming words can we write by using the word DO? What we can write? We can write flow. We can write show. Yes. Now, for door we have flow and show. What you can observe here? You can observe here the floor has the similar sound. Sorry, actual sound like door. Okay, it's having some actual sound. But this show, I said to worry, it is having the similar sound like door. We say door, show. Yes, so these both are the rhyming words. If we go to write further, so what we can write? Floor, show, then what we can write? We can add bore, yes. And so many words we can add with the word door. Now let's move for the next one. So we have here in. So now what is the rhyming word for in? We can write thin. Yes, then bin. Okay. Let us give only two examples for this. So it will, uh, it will be easy and you can understand that. So now here you can observe thin, uh, sorry, in, thin, bin. So in, so rhyming is in. And here also we have added in. So they have the actual sound. So next move for the say. So what we can write? They, tray. Yes? Will it match? Yes. Students, you can observe. Even the ending sounds are same as the word we have given say. Next we have said. What will be the rhyming word of said? Okay, we can write dead, bent, head and so on. Right? Now here you observe the. Okay, the the, the, the sound. Okay, it's a Ending sound is similar. Next, where? What you can write for rhyming word of where? There. Okay, bear. Now, here you observe, we have written two sounds. Okay, there and bear. So, these also match with the word where. So, I think you have followed the rhyming words. So, remember, rhyming words are those words which will have the Ending sound same or similar. Okay, it can be having the actual sound also or else it can be having the similar sound. So now as you have understood this, let us go and write the filling the blanks. Guess the nouns. So let me read for you. A small box full of sticks. A dash. So a small box full of sticks. What is a small box which having a full of sticks? So what now we can write there? It is a matchbox. A small box full of sticks is a matchbox. Next, something we put a letter in an. Where do we drop a letter? We drop a letter in the envelope, post box, okay? Post office. But we drop a letter in a post office. But what we use? We use an envelope. Something we put a letter. We put a letter in that envelope. Directly you don't go and drop a letter in the post box. Fine. So now here we put a letter in a what? Envelope. Okay. E N. This is E N V E L O P E envelope. We put on the light with this, a dash. With what do we put on the light? 
a switch. We use a switch to put on the light, to put off the light. So we have a, some plugs, okay, in your houses when your parents say go on, put on the light. What you go? Directly you go and hold the light? No, you just put on the plug. Yes, that is we switch on. So put on the light with this, that is a switch. We switch on the light, we switch off the light. So it's a switch. Next, we keep warm at night with this, a dash. What do we use to keep us warm at night? We use a blanket. Yes? Do you use a blanket these days? Yes. Because it keeps us warm at night. So if it's very cold at night, cold, so what we do? We use a blanket. So let me read for you. A small box full of sticks is a match box. Something we put a letter in an envelope. We put on the light with this a switch. We keep warm at night with this a blanket. So we have understood today what are rhyming words and what are some of the nouns. By using nouns, we have written this fill in the blanks. Copy this in your notebook and write it very neatly. If you have followed this, please practice it very well. Thank you.